Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video of Wasteland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So what I want to do today is we're in the Spirit Cave. And basically what I want to do within the Spirit Cave is see what type of tier 5 uh, resources that we can get our hands on. Now, I have seen some videos around this, but a lot of them have been done in hard mode. So I'm going to do it in normal mode. Something a bit different, switching gears. And I just want to see what type of... Uh, T5 resources that we can get just by doing it in normal mode because I know not a lot of you guys will be able to do it in hard mode and I just want to see if normal mode is at all worth it while I'm doing it with you guys today. I might even do another uh, series of videos in doing it with hard mode just to sort of give a bit of a comparison between the two and we can sort of link the videos in each other's descriptions if you know that becomes a thing. So that's pretty much what the basis of today's video will be and getting it um, you know pretty much to a point where we can say okay cool is it worth doing it in hard mode or is it worth doing it in easy mode so I'll let you guys be the judge as always I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments about what would be best for you or what will be best for everyone else in between and we'll sort of take it from there so hopefully you guys will sort of get a bit out of it and hopefully a little bit more information you know, as the, the video sort of progresses on. So that's pretty much what I'm sort of looking at uh, doing with you guys today. So as you can see from my inventory here, I am chock-a-block with a pretty good amount of um, weaponry and things like that. I have dropped some things off in the armory as well before we sort of head off. Um, well, sorry, before I headed into the zone here. So I'm pretty much well equipped. I've got another set of clothing, so that's all well and good. I'm just mainly bringing the consumables with me at the minute, which I know that I'm, I'll probably burn through, you know, as quickly as possible. Well, you know, hopefully to an extent. And that way I can sort of alleviate myself in using, um, uh, you know, storage capacity and things like that as time sort of, you know, moves on. Because I am going to do all four Ks. It probably won't be all in one video. So I might break it up. I might do one, uh, sorry, two in one video and then I'll mix it up and do the other two in the next video. And I think that might be sort of a, a good way of doing it. And this way I can sort of, um, you know, break it up. Won't make it too long for you guys. So at least you guys can sort of see and, you know, enjoy it all in the same way. So right now, I'm just sort of trying to find the first uh, prerequisite for the mini boss to um, follow through and we shouldn't be too far away I'd imagine from the first mini boss and I'm interested to see what they actually drop as well so hopefully we get a decent amount of tier 5 resources it's it was like kind of uh, actually as I think about it I don't think tier 4 resources made their way into the spirit cave they were just made as little drops here and there and that was pretty much it until the developers thought it was fitting to make it more widely available and easier to come by for pretty much everyone else in between so I think that was that but all right here we go uh, so we've got the Sonoka here and even with the Remington it's actually doing good work here so honestly I think I could probably would have actually gotten away with using uh, Remington's right across the board because I have made a whole lot of uh, Lamarck uh, guns as you would have seen so there's that of course but you know it is what it is as we sort of go along oh that's what I wanted to point out as well um, a new game by Helio which makes which makes West End Survival so the same development firm or company however you sort of want to brand it have come out with a new game and that's called a mutiny pirate survival ARP well RPG not ARPG but an RPG so exactly like Westland Survival but as the name would suggest it's all to do with pirates so if you guys want to check that out jump into my um, my playlist on my channel and you'll find hopefully by the time that this video goes up there'll be videos one and two ready to go if you guys want to have a different experience to that of Westland and you want to see how that sort of um, plays out versus say Westland for example or any other survival based game really go ahead and check it out so far I'm actually having a really good time I'm really enjoying myself it's a little bit different 
there is a lot of the same elements to that of um, Westland Survival, but there are different mechanics in there that hopefully, with enough nurturing and um, a little bit back, a little bit more backing, sorry, and development, I think this game will set itself apart quite nicely compared to you know the other survival games as well. So. What I mean by that really is, you know, we always use Last Day on Earth as a base, always a staple. I mean, it is running the uh, the Kafir engine, which they have, which Westland utilizes, which in turn that Mutiny actually runs as well. So you'll find a lot of similarity, uh, similarity, sorry, uh, within that game versus uh, Westland, but also you'll see a lot of uh, repurposed items make their way into the game. So I'm not gonna go too much involved into that, but I figured, you know what, suss it out guys. Let me know what you think in the comments as well. If you jump over to the mutiny, uh, sorry, mutiny videos that I've made, uh, let me know how you would enjoy it or how do you, um, I can't even talk today, but how do you guys fare that game versus say Wasteland? I know it's a very, very early game that's just only um, being made available so to sort of give you a bit of a tale um, it only got released on June 16th of this year just to sort of give you guys a bit of an, an idea on the timeline or how long the game's been out but for the small amount of time that it has been released it's actually pretty good I think it's very polished that's you know that's my opinion on it but I want you guys to check it out and let me know what you guys think in the comment section but with that all being said, hopefully you guys are enjoying Westland all in all. So don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, like what you see and you want to see more, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, we'll get back into it. Wanted to give off a few shameless plugs with regards to the other game there. but. Um, just a final disclaimer on that as well, now that I've remembered, um, it is not currently available everywhere, so you do have to just take that with a bit of caution as well, so um, as much as I want you guys to obviously play the game, unfortunately not everyone will have access to it. So as true Helio slash Westland development, it is a soft release, so hopefully the, um, the release will become a lot more greater. But my intent is to make a little bit more documentation of it so you guys have a better um, grounding on how the game sort of operates and how it works the functions things like that so you guys are better prepared once you start playing the game when it becomes available anyway back to Westland as we are so right now I want to sort of document this experience by just sort of going through the motions with this and making sure that I've given you guys the best possible um, information and hopefully we can sort of discover together is it worth coming into the spirit cave finding ourselves tier 5 resources um, and, then we, and we look at it from different perspectives as well so not so much is it worth it to begin with we look at it from a, a factor of usability of our time, effort resources things like that and if so then at least you guys will sort of get to know a little bit more about it and would either make a a beeline just to go to say the main bosses or things like that or do we have to go straight to hard mode which may result for a lot of you guys to um, go into the normal mode first or once you get normal mode get the seal and then activate hard mode if you guys don't have seals on hand so there, there are things um, that we sort of need to take into consideration before we can you know make a call on everything and obviously um, you know find our way back into this um, little trial so to speak it's all trial and error at the end of the day so once we sort of worked out all the kinks well you know we can continue our way through and do what we need to do basically but I think we are pretty much at the halfway mark right now I think I doubt that this is where the main boss fella is I, you know what he might be actually he actually might be so we'll do some snooping and see mm, doesn't appear that way so let's just take out these little ghosts 
before they take me out, of course. Okay, and got this fella here. Okay, so I only managed to get one hit, which is okay. Actually, there's a little bit further to go. Okay, cool. So we'll get these fellas here. And got the, this guy over here out of the way. And same to you, buddy. And there we go. Okay, so not too bad. And right now we're about 10 minutes in, so I don't think that's too bad of a run so far. We're nearly at the end. I would, I think we are actually. I don't actually spend too much time in the um, the spirit caves. Now that's just by choice because I prefer to do other things as I'm sort of playing along. But you know, for the purpose of this video and showing you guys, you know, what's going on, kind of thing. Um, I reckon it's just like a, a good little education piece for you guys to check out if it's worth it or not. I'm sure a lot of you guys may have done this, you know, so far at this point. You know, the update's been out for a little bit now, so I would imagine that a lot of you guys would have either ventured off into these caves. But this would obviously serve a purpose later on, especially for, you know, newer players that are coming through who haven't really gotten that far or you know gone to a point that they are capable or competent to go into the spirit cave without any sort of issue and i know i understand that you know it might be a little bit harder for you know other people versus say like for myself for example you know right now i consider myself a you know an end game player where i've got enough to carry myself along and i shouldn't have a problem in you know getting my way through you know a place like the spirit cave so yeah, there's justification there. That's how I sort of see it. But for a lot of people that may not have the ability to do that, well, this is, you know, this serves a purpose. So I hope that does just that. Okie dokie. So we should be in the final stage here. There's a few of you guys over here that we're going to have to deal with. At least the acres here are two shot. And I really wanted to sort of hold off with, the, um, with my better weapons until I sort of get to the end here. Okay. Here we go. So we have to come around over here. Okay. And you dropped something for me. Thank you very much. And we should be in the final stages. So let's just quietly take all these guys out before we have to deal with the big fella that's in there. Okay. And you know what? I've just broken the weapon there. May as well switch over to this bad boy now. I am running low on clothing, which is not a good thing. At least I can two-shot these guys. I'm actually happy with that. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so let's take the fishies. And what else do we have here? I'm not going to worry about the corn at the moment. Just want to get some of these bits and pieces here before we sort of head in. And I'll definitely heal myself up. So we're obviously ready to go. Got some food, which is good because I thought about it when I sort of came across here thinking, well, will I have enough? I wasn't too sure. But that's all well and good now. Here we go. All right. I wonder if you actually drop anything, to be honest. Aside from the seal and things like that. I'm just, like I said, I, all I care about right now is tier five resources. Uh -oh. Well, you've got me the seal, which is good. So, I might end up just coming back here later on, just to sort of, you know, clean up the place and things like that. I do have my wagon with me as well, so just for added extra storage ability. So, I did end up doing that, which I think, you know, in times like this, it's probably a good idea to do that. Yeah. Heal up real quick. It doesn't appear that we're getting any sort of resources doesn't appear to be that way so by now I probably should have gotten you know something tier 5 like maybe in these main chests over here I hope so otherwise I've just got bad luck okay well this is the big boy chest So I didn't get anything at all. 
So that's rather disappointing. So it looks like you have to go into hard mode to obtain the said resources. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, that's a bit annoying. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and dump everything if I find nothing in Cave 2, despite defeating the main boss and all that sort of stuff in there, then I will definitely go back into Cave 1, obtain the seal, and then we can redo the second video under hard mode, and then that will be our comparison versus doing all four versus doing, you know, the first two or the first half, so to speak. So I think that might be probably the best way of doing it. So anyway, here we go take out these ghosts nice and quickly and now that I'm using the the better pistols here I shouldn't have a problem in taking these guys out which quite frankly I'm actually one-shotting the acres which is pretty good so I actually actually might be a better pistol maybe two shot the the ghosts one shot the acres and then I just got to worry about the little mini bosses that I have to sort of take on as I sort of come through here so look at that, one shot, one shot, that's actually really good. So this will make my process in this a little bit quicker, which is good, which is probably what I wanted to be honest with you guys. Um, not going to worry about those. You know what, I probably should end up taking some of those. The oil lamps, I don't, I've got enough oil lamps at home, so I don't need the oil lamps now that, that I've got the wagon. Um, I'm not too sure what else I need all that for. Probably I'd want to take the corn. And the other reason why I want to do that is creating alcohol so I can uh, create a lot of heals and things like that and, you know, ointments and whatnot. So that's probably the only reason why I would take uh, the corn. I probably should have been doing that in cave one. So I don't know if I can be bothered backtracking and checking all of that, but I don't know. If I end up doing it, I'll do it. If I don't, I don't. So it doesn't really bother me in any other way. All right, so that's the first section cleared. Oops, come on. There we go. And we'll come in here real quickly and just deal with these guys. Okay, a lot of two-shotting. This is really good. I'm actually really enjoying the fact that I can do that. There was a time where my player here wasn't as strong to do that, even with the um, uh, the uh, Lamar pistol so I'm actually enjoying the fact that I can do that now so happy days uh, get rid of that and open up this and let us open up this and take all that and if I end up getting if I end up doing hard mode I'll probably end up doing all four caves so whether or not I do all four caves on cam um, I might just do the first two on hard mode and then probably the other two in my own time. So food for thought on that. I'm not too sure how I want to do it. But, but you know, pretty much by then I'll probably have an answer from you guys as well if I end up doing it. If I find some time during the week to do it. That's that's probably going to be the, the deciding factor. If I have the time and the space to actually do it during the week, that's probably going to be the, fact, um, the case that I have to make for myself. And let's just weave around here and take you out and let's see how much it takes to kill you that's two that's three four five hits that's not too bad actually not too bad at all and let's take all take all over here so i probably should be rocking with these pistols anyway when i'm in here just for convenience and the fact that i can just go through the zone's probably that little bit extra and quicker. And to be honest, I think I was looking at my SW2, and I think this makes around the same amount of power. Oh, sorry, the same amount of attack. So I'm probably more okay in doing, well, using these as opposed to the SW2 model that I have, which I can't craft. Um, repairing, you know, it's obviously going to cost me in fish and things like that for now. Uh, once I get the fine repair kits on deck, I'll probably be able to utilize that, you know, as I sort of go along. But, you know, right now, I think probably these will probably be my best consumables. 
so long as I've got now that I've got a pipeline in making um, uh, steel that's probably going to be the way to go which I'm probably have, going to have to do some grinding sessions too as well in the heat the chromite uh, um, cave I know a lot of you guys have already started utilizing that um, and obviously using the wagon just to sort of uh, take or well, sorry carry more and you know without having to do multiple trips and things like that so there is also that and we've got a mini boss over here take the Sunoco over one more hit there we go what have you dropped for me okay I love the fact that I can one-shot these guys now. It just makes my life so much easier. And less wear and tear on my weapons as well. Because I can get through a lot, a lot more without having to cycle over to the next gun. And just using up you know, valuable resources where I shouldn't have to. So do enjoy that. While well, he's opening that. Do I have any water? I don't think I do. That's going to be... Ooh, is that empty? That is empty. Gonna have to use that unfortunately. Let's just take that. If I find some water, I'll be definitely chugging down some of that. Hopefully, hopefully I might find some up here, I'm not too sure. It's probably one thing I didn't consider to take with me was enough water. It doesn't matter. Because I think I should be okay. And I would I probably would suspect in my inventory if you know if it gets tough and it gets to the point where I absolutely need water. I'm sure I have something in my inventory without having to go back home. But we'll see how we go. Uh, let's quickly just grab what's over here. And it's been a while since I've actually cleaned out the caves as well. Because usually the last few times that I've gone through here, or the, the rare times that I do go through here, is I tend to leave a lot of these basic, um, uh, you know, loot drops and things like that. I just go for the main stuff and that'll be it. But now I'm actually grabbing things. So, you know, there's always reasons. There's always reasons, of, uh, you know, for the cause. And my boy is thirsty. Uh, let's just carry him. It's just quicker that way. Don't have to double tap and tap and all that sort of stuff. Just tap once, move on, continue. Rinse in, repeat. Okay, let's see what we got in here. So it does seem apparent that I'm not getting any tier 5 resource at the moment. So it looks to be that I, I would have to go into a hard mode situation and to see how that goes. I would think that probably would be the case now. You know, considering that everyone else that I've seen um, have actually done it in hard mode as opposed to the easy mode. So makes all the sense in the world but I just wanted to test it out and see how we went with that because if it didn't work out then obviously um, well if it did work out sorry obviously I'd just use standard mode and you guys could use you know standard mode as well so you know that you've got that behind you guys now at least that way you don't have to worry about the fact or you would have to um, you know or put yourselves in a position where you feel like oh you know, I can definitely do all this in basic mode, but, you know, not so much. Uh, I don't want the tribal bow. I'll take the feather thing. Cool. Alright, whereabouts do we need to go now? I know my dude's thirsty. I'm going to have to probably try and find some water somewhere. Uh, let's go over here, back through this little maze that I've got myself into. And let's see what's on the other side. I think there is something on the other side I need to do. Yes, I do. Gosh, you guys take me through a bit of an adventure, don't you? Okay. And take these guys out. Boom. And I can't actually access that, can I? I cannot. All right. see how we go all right so this is I think this is another little mini boss I've got to deal with yes I do 
Cool, look at that. Couple critical hits. That's what you want. And a whole bunch of bunch of one shotting. Didn't really want to use the spirit there. I really can't be bothered using the spirits. I don't know why. I think you probably would have noticed that I'm not really big on the spirit sort of element there where I probably should be using it, but I don't know. To me, I'd rather put my points and resources into other attributes rather than putting them into spirits. There was a time that I sort of liked the, the whole spirit concept, but I don't know. I'm not too sure exactly how I feel about it. I mean, how do you guys feel about it? Ooh, perfect. Awesome. That's what I was waiting for. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys feel about using or investing your points into spirit. Is it something that you guys enjoy doing as opposed to not investing it, investing it into other sort of attributes? Let me know in the comments what type of attributes that you guys prefer to do. Because I, I would be interested to know exactly how you guys sort of play. Uh, spike mace, I'll leave all that behind. Starting to get full, as you do. Alright, let's see what we have in here. Alright, let's move on. Alright, so we can move forward now. So I've done all the little side bits and pieces, all the, you know, the fiddly bits, as one would say. And I've got two areas over here that I'm going to have to deal with. Ah, goodness me. This place is just never ending sometimes. Would love to do... See, if I wasn't sort of bogging myself down and opening up every single chest, I probably would have been finished by now. Now, I think I've explained that in previous videos as well, where I think I remember I did a speed run a little while back, and I think a lot of you guys actually really liked that video as well. So I never got around to doing like a part two of that or a second uh, wave of that, but I probably should actually do that again. But obviously the, the wave 2 consisted of me not touching any one of these little chests that I'm opening up. And it does take time. You don't think that it does. It takes about, what, 5 to 10 seconds to open everything up, close it, and move on. So if you sort of start to add, add all that up and you do that over a range of zones, it does eat a bit of your time as it is at the moment. Because at the minute I'm actually coming up to about 30 minutes of gameplay here at the moment. So, yeah. I think what I might do is possibly maybe in the second video I might just condense it a little bit and not actually do every single thing that I can open up here even though that I can get more resources that way as well by doing so um, again I don't know whether or not I should be doing it Ooh. he's quick off the mark this fella yes you stay distracted well there you go you could always use your spirit animals here as a distraction serving so that's one way to look at it. And then that way you are not penalized in any way, shape or form. You keep your clothing, your armor at the best possible thing that you can do. Um, and without, you know, without it getting tarnished or deteriorated, I guess. All right, so let's take all that. Don't need any of that. So hopefully we can just move on and get to the final part here. Call this one a video. This would be, you know, a part one of things. And let's move over all the way up here. And pop our way over. And open this up. Love the one shot ability. There we go. So two spirit caves takes around about, well, two, you know, two caves out of the four. So you're looking about a, a decent hour and a bit. And again, especially how, or, you know, depending on how much you want to, you know, fluff about it, I guess. And I use fluff in a way to, you know, um, mitigate what time wasting that you might want to do, you know, in terms of opening up chests and things like that. Taking him out not uh, out nicely. All right, so that's my second one, and we'll go around and opening up. Actually, let's go ahead and open up the main chests. So let's open up this boy. If we don't get anything, then I'm calling it. Next video will be hard mode based. 
yeah all right so it looks like we're going to do hard mode in the spirit cave and that's pretty much it i guess so look to be honest i think i've kept you guys around here long enough to work out what's what so if you ended up enjoying this one you know getting a little bit out of it to you know get the experience that you guys need and what to do and what not to do then make sure you, you hit the like button and comment down below and let me know what you thought about this one here and as always if you guys are new to the channel like what you're seeing consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos anyway as i open up the last thing uh, we're good to go so i'm going to head over and do the hard zone so when you guys come back uh, hard mode will be on and we'll be mucking up mucking about i guess anyway take it easy guys and i will catch you guys next time